There's no such thing as work-life balance. None! Just fucking do it. Subscribe now. German, the legal system has got, Germany's got a great rule of law. I mean, and that protects you. They got a, they've got a great, uh, the, uh, Britain, Canada, all the more civilized Western countries have great rules of law. And they got terrific lawyers. Terrific lawyers. Um, and almost every, every law firm and accounting firm in the world is, uh, uh, is aware of or cognizant of uh, delayed fees. Bless you. Delayed fees. And they call them uh, success fees. Success is kind of a, a, a term that isn't used as much anymore. Delayed fees. And if they tell you we don't do delayed fees, and first I say you a lying cocksucker. But anyway, uh, do you do business with uh, private equity? You already know they do, okay? Well, then you must be misunderstand. Maybe I didn't say it right to you. There's not a private equity firm on the planet that doesn't use delayed fees. Not on the motherfucking planet. So I guess you misunderstood me. Now, again, what about delayed fees and, and then this? But these firms have budgets, business development budgets. So they may be all QLA'd out. That's, that, that, that's the challenge we have now. In some parts of the world, we're QLA out. In other words, they got QLA up to here because they got 25 QLA deals in the firm and they only have so much business development budget. And if all the QLA deals cratered, which they don't, but if they did crater, then they're out two, three, four, five million pounds, euros or dollars. So there are parts of the world that are getting close to being QLA out, QLA'd out. But after you do a deal and you pay for it, the delayed fees doesn't last forever. It's only in the beginning, because you got no money. You're living on exhaust fumes from your tailpipe, sleeping in your car. And we've got guys in the Hall of Fame that slept in their car. But it's the only game in town. <laughs>